Hey, what's going on? Sixpackabs.com. It's Thomas DeLauer, your nutrition expert and lead trainer here. And I am about to break down the science between cold brew coffee and regular coffee. But first and foremost, let me go ahead and clear something up. Caffeine is not bad. Caffeine is awesome. And I will be the first to tell you I am a rampant consumer of caffeine. I'm not going to lie. I like it. It feels good and it has a lot of good metabolic benefits. And there is one general rule that I follow though. I don't consume caffeine past 12 p.m. Period. That's just my law. You don't have to abide by it. But I will consume as much caffeine as I want in the morning time. I just cut it off afternoon so I can sleep. But anyway, story for a different day. I want to explain something between cold brew, which I drink pretty much by the pint, and regular brew. The difference. Cold brew is where you take the beans, you grind them, and you soak them and extract the nutrients and extract the caffeine and extract the flavor over a 12 to 24 hour period of time. Okay, regular coffee is brewed in a way where you're adding heat to expedite the process. And that's all the difference is. Super, super simple. But what about the health benefits? What about the fitness benefits? What about the fat loss benefits? Well, when it comes down to regular coffee, here's what ends up happening. The oils that are in the coffee bean get extracted when it's heated. Well, what that means is the oils are what have all the acid, the oils are what have all the negative effects, and the oils are what are actually so bitter they kill the flavor of the good coffee in the first place. So why would you want to heat coffee? Well, heating coffee was pretty much just created to be able to expedite the entire process. How can we get the caffeine out of this as fast as possible? How can we get the flavor of the coffee as fast as possible? When in reality, if we just had a little bit of patience, cold brew is significantly better. Cold brew has 67% less acid than hot coffee, simply because it doesn't have the oils. Now again, like I mentioned, a lot of times you'll find that cold brew has a much smoother taste, right? It ends up being really smooth, doesn't have that bitterness, it goes down a lot easier. Again, because you don't have the oils. Well, it's the acidity in those oils that also mess up your teeth. But let's get to the good things. Let's get to the stuff about fat loss. What we have to remember about caffeine is caffeine mobilizes free fatty acids. Free fatty acids are basically fat molecules that are released into the bloodstream to ultimately be utilized through what's called lipolysis. Lipolysis is the utilization of fats for fuel, when our body is burning fat, taking free fatty acids, turning it into energy. Well, caffeine has been shown in multiple studies, and I mean hundreds of studies, this is a known fact, that it takes it out of the cell into the bloodstream so that it can be burned. So a little bit of caffeine pre-workout is amazing. That's why people usually consume it. They just do it blindly. Why do I choose cold brew over regular brew? Two big reasons. One, 30% more caffeine in this bad boy. So simply because you're cold brewing it, you're allowing the caffeine to be extracted without all of the other things. But the other reason that I do this is because the acidity makes it way easier on the stomach. You may not realize it, but if you get up in the morning and you train in a fasted state, now mind you, I intermittent fast a lot. That's my main thing. In fact, you can see my program, the science-based six-pack program here on sixpackapps.com. But anyway, I digress. Fasting, it works perfect because you don't have to worry about the acidity on your stomach. That's why cold brew is by far the best way to go when you're fasting. It's not going to tear your stomach up. You're not going to get those burps when you're working out. And trust me, I know all about burps. <coughs> burps. But there actually is a third reason too. One thing I almost forgot. When you are dealing with regular coffee versus cold brew, Regular coffee, the heat actually kills a lot of the antioxidant properties, all the flavonoids, the polyphenols, the things that we actually want. You see, caffeine isn't the only thing we're getting out of coffee. We're getting a lot of good stuff. We're getting a lot of different antioxidants. We're getting the things that actually reduce inflammation in our bodies too. Hot coffee, most of that's destroyed. So anyway, you probably get the gist. Cold brew whenever possible. If you combine cold brew with some L-carnitine, then you're really working some magic because this is how it works. Caffeine mobilizes the fat, L-carnitine allows the fatty acids to get utilized by the cell. So it releases from fat cell, gets utilized in mitochondria in a different cell. The two-step process. Release the fat, burn the fat. Release the fat, burn the fat. Anyway, that's my two cents on why you need to be choosing cold brew over regular brew whenever possible, especially when fasting. As always, keep it locked in here on sixpackabs.com, and I will see you in the next video.